The Bob family is dead. And this is causing a bit of a problem for the cast and for the Christmas special. But contractual obligations state that we must still deliver Christmas. Which is why, uh, for today's stream, uh, we are going to have to hire paid actors. I'm pretty sure that's not Ross Bob's signature haircut, but if Hollywood was to do Ross Bob, this is perfect. He looks too cool. Uh, he didn't have a beard, so we, we, we will keep that to be the case. Uh, but we can give him an alarm in the chest hair. <laughs> it's just how you remember him, right? There you go. It's the man we love, or at least an actor who is playing him. Second most important member in the family. And you know this because they are one of the few characters who actually made it to The Sims 4. It's our favorite cat. Is this the Netflix adaptation? Uh, that's the idea. This is the bootleg Bob family household. How, wait, how bad can we make it where like, it's just clearly not afraid? Oh, look! It's afraid Bob! <laughs> She's just making a dog. It's the favorite pet of the family. Afraid Bob. We gotta make not a pona. So I need to see how much we can transform this person. Is, is there just like a horse mask? Is that a hot dog? Okay, I got. We'll go. We'll go with the sausage. It look not a pona is still a horse, right? So we gotta make him as hairy as possible. Is there a naked option? <laughs> I think that's worse than being naked. Oh god, it's naked on the back too. Okay, next family member. We have to make the iconic character that is Barbara Barbara. She looks like the old lady from Recess. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that, uh, honestly for Barbara Barbara, like Barbara Barbara is just old woman. That's all it needs to be. Next one is one I've been, I've been looking forward to making this guy. Harry Hill. But we need to make it like slightly wrong. So we're gonna give him a bit of hair. If we just have him in like the wrong suit. It's supposed to just be like a standard suit. He's in a tux instead. It's just very clearly not Harry Hill. It's perfect. Next up, Waluigi. What, what's the best for like a purple hat we've got? I don't think anything here is appropriate. I mean, that's the most purple object we've got. All right, looks, well, I mean, we can save some time on that front now, I guess. Oh no! <laughs> no, this is too cursed. Uh, what what else have we got? There we go. That's perfect. Uh, we gotta make uh Billy Bob. Wait, no, was it Bob Bob? It was Bob Bob. Billy Bob was a different one that we didn't really care about. Bob Bob. Let's just randomize until we get someone who was like vaguely similar. <laughs> I don't know what happened with the hair. We just have to like hire whoever we can. We don't have much but budget left. What did Billy Bob look like? I I I don't I don't even, Billy Bob just like died like quite quickly. If I remember rightly, he like like had that kind of hairstyle. <laughs> just when in doubt, just give him a beard. We're gonna just make him like as beige as we possibly can. There we go. It's the man you remember. Okay, so this is uh Gruntilda Bob, the character we all know and love. Does a horse have ambitions? Just aggressive, hates jumping, and lazy. There we go. Uh, who Who is the last Bob then? It wasn't, because Boinky was the imaginary friend. We've missed someone in the family. Oh, the second Billy Bob, you're right. Billy Bob too. I forgot, yeah, there was two Billies. I mean, at least we'll be able to tell the Billies apart better this time. There we go, the family is here. The family we know and love is back. It's the Bob family household. <laughs> Oh, it's so cursed. Difficulty is max for this family. Okay, it's the iconic house. We're gonna get it back. It's not quite as tall. Uh, adjust roof height. <laughs> Wait, if I actually go the, 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 the correct way, how tall can I make it? Tall. <laughs> There's nothing worse than like a dimly lit home. You know, you want it so that a lot of natural light flows in. That's what they teach you on Grand Designs. And you know, having some nature in the house, like this 20-year-old oak tree, it just it just makes the room smell fresh. Wait, we can make a pool bar? I kind of want the pool bar. That is excessive. <laughs> We're making like a water park instead of like an actual home for this family to live in. There's been more money spent on the pool than literally anything else. Okay, and we need we need at least one bit of terrain. There we go. 
See, faithfully recreated from the first time we streamed The Sims. You know, like Netflix has pulled all the stops in a faithful depiction of the original classic we love. Too much DLC will make The Sims 3 buggy, just warning you. That's a real shame because I purchased every single piece of DLC that's available for the game. Like, I, you know, I just can't survive though without my IKEA furniture and the Katy Perry DLC. Wait, what the fuck is happening? What is that? Harry Hill, go check it out. Inspect the portal that's just appeared by the swimming pool. We've only just moved into the neighborhood. Great woolly llamas. I was on my way home to Oasis Landon and my time portal experienced a temporal disruption. And its power cells were thrown all over. Can you help me collect them? What does any of that mean? Oh, the Billy Bob's crying. Hang on, can I? I remember an old trick that I could do. We're just trying to be faithful for the amount of attention and care we gave the original family, alright? Like, they died then, and these actors sure as hell are gonna die now. It's gonna be the performance of their lives. Just their final performance. Travel to the future is an option. Uh, yeah, sure, let's send Ross Bob on an adventure. Wait, can I, can I travel with the whole family? Okay, let's take everyone. Behold! The future! Oh, there actually is some future elements. Welcome to 2077. I hope you get a better perspective of the city. I've given you a jetpack. Start using it and fly around. <laughs> this this seems unnecessarily like high tech for like the Bob family household. I, I think there's like been too much budget put into the second season. They brought on like Michael Bay as a director and I don't know if it was the best call. The Bob family household didn't need this like level of production quality. <laughs> Uh, what's solid concrete? Is it the Bob 2's descendants household? Oh, <gasps> this is us in the future. Oh my god. Take the family. Take the family. We gotta, we gotta see our, our future. Monte, Monte Bob 2. Reed Bob. Aaron, you're not part of the Bob family. Uh, can I, can I kill them? Can I just outright murder another sim? What do I have to do to like enable murder? There's a lot of Bobs in the fu future. There's Geneva Bob. Derek Bob, Caitlin Bob, Peggy Bob. You can apparently ruin the future by living a failure of a life and creating dystopia. Really? Can I just set everything ablaze though too? Okay, we're in, we're in business. I just need to set up some of these now. They're just going through the roof. <laughs> it's like they have no clip. Come on, Barbara, I'm counting on you. Wait, no, Barbara, you gotta, you gotta like the other ones. Why are they just going- They're just going through the building. The house doesn't want to die. I can't destroy the future. It's not letting me. <laughs> okay, well, there's Bobs alive in the future, so what if we get the Bobs to die in the past and we only have one survivor? Surely that will affect the timeline. Okay, Ross Bob, uh, get out of bed. We need to go back to the present. We have to stop this alternate timeline of the Bob family household from existing. Because by all rightful means, you're supposed to be dead. All right, step right up, everyone. We need to change the timeline. The baby's like surprisingly in good spirits despite everything. Just needs to sleep, but like you can do that in the box, fine. Wait, who already died? When did the first person die? Oh, Barbara's dead, I didn't even realize. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's fine. He's okay. What future are we preventing again? Prosperous one. Mourn? Oh, Waluigi died. Okay, I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, how you doing, Ross Bob? <laughs> He's not doing too well. Just, ha just have your salad, Ross Bob. It's gonna be alright. You and Afraid can just live out your life as it was in The Sims 4. We'll overlook that, like, Bob Bob is dead. Wait, how did you get out of the pool? He jumped in. Holy Bob, go make a big splash. There we go, we're good. No, Ross Bob! Ross Bob! Ross Bob, get off! Get off! No! <laughs> no! Uh, speed it up a little. Move objects. Let's, let's just speed it up. Alright, Ross Bob, it's all up to you. We got we gotta see the impact this has had on the timeline. How is like um Billy still alive as well? He's been in that wall a long time. 
They're still alive. How, how are you guys still here? Let's go through the contacts. How many bobs have we got? Oh, I think there actually is less bobs. The Christmas special is taking a dark turn. <laughs> oh no, I forgot this is the Christmas special. Okay, so I gotta kill the child in the wall. Let's delete them real quick. And then we travel back to the future. Let's see how many bobs we're down to. This is my new favorite movie. <laughs> Surely that's gotta have some effect on this kid. Like, how are they still alive? Apparently this kid's a strong swimmer. Okay, just put him in the bin. <laughs> Ross Bob, stop crying. <gasps> Monty! Monty's gone! Oh, oh no! Currently it's a normal future. Oh, my mage is, mage is not dystopian. So you, you can actually influence it so you get like a horrible world. That's actually really cool. Wait, if I, if I go back home, can I do that? If I go back to like the present. Alright, travel back home. Come on, Ross Bob. Trigger this event. Do you want to change the future for the worse? Let's start by causing some destruction and mayhem. Take this meteor magnet and point it towards the sky to attract some meteors. Wait, do I just have a meteor summoning device? Does this work? Trash talk the environment the six simps. I just gotta speak badly about the environment and apparently that will cause the apocalypse. You see what I did? Why don't you do that too? Millions are dead. He's just taking out some rubbish and tossing it on the ground. He's like, yeah, yeah, it seems like a good idea. Like, we're gonna litter one park. And because of that, like, 80% uh, like of human beings will perish. Yeah, I mean, it's important to stress, like, even though we're doing this, I still very much care about the environment. Just not that much. Have I killed the future? Is that, like, all I needed to do? One town hall meeting. 12 pieces of rubbish in a park and a magnet. Has it worked? We've stopped the Bob family once and for all. Okay, welcome back. Doesn't look that bad. Are you sure we ruined the future? I just want to see like a meteor like collide with this house and everyone die. The wastelands. Where, where are the wastelands? Inspect the mysterious door. Did I just miss- Oh! Ross has spotted a mysterious door. Maybe it requires a key to open. Oh my god! You doing okay, Ross? <laughs> oh wow, that was a close one. Yeah, let's pick that up. Put that in your pocket. He's happy now. How is he not dead? That one meteor is what we worked towards that entire time. I guess that's our Christmas present. I mean, we did kill most of the Bob family and like the ones that are somehow still alive live in suffering. That's pretty good. Everyone in the focus of this stream was building a pool. <laughs> Rip the Bob family household. They're still dead. 